हे हाय एंड वेलकम बैक सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड द पीसीबी लेयर स्टैक अप एंड आई होप दैट इट्स नाउ क्लियर टू यू एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद दिस पॉइंट व्हिच इज अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन टू डीएक्सएफ फाइल ओके सो नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दिस वीडियो सो नाउ लेट मी टेल यू व्हाट यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन दिस वीडियो so the first point is why we need dxf file so i will explain you the requirement of dxf file in the pcb design okay then the next point is what is dxf file and its purpose so again we will discuss that then the next point is usage of dxf file in pcb design so again i will discuss this particular point and after that the next point is brief introduction to dxf file we are using so i will explain you the dxf file that we are using uh, while creating the pcb and in the end i will show you the process to import and export the dxf file in eagle software okay so that's how basically we are going to cover this video and again this particular video is actually very important it's because you are going to use this file which is dxf file most frequently in your professional life whenever you will design the product okay so now let's start with the video so why we need dxf file now let me explain this particular point with the help of two cases the first case is enclosure of product is designed based on shape of pcb now in this case you know first the pcb will be designed and based on the shape of pcb it will be decided how exactly the enclosure of the pcb will look like okay and enclosure is actually designed by mechanical design engineer so it will be his responsibility to design the enclosure and pcb is designed by pcb design engineer which you already know so in this particular case you know most of the decisions are actually taken by the pcb design engineer he is going to decide where you know the connectors will be placed then where for example if we are providing the power to the system then where uh, the power cable or where the power cable will be connected on the pcb and if there are you know leds on the pcb or if there is a buzzer on the pcb then what will be the leds location on the pcb what will be the location of buzzer on the pcb and again if there are some switches on the pcb then what will be the position of switches on the pcb all that decisions are actually taken by pcb design engineer so in this case pcb design engineer is completely independent and he is going to take the decision where all the connectors you know switches leds will be placed on the pcb and based on the location of these different components the enclosure of the pcb will be designed okay so in this case what generally happens this pcb design engineer it's going to generate a 3d file or he is going to create the 3d file of the pcb uh, which is actually called as step file okay so it is called as step file and this particular file will be provided to the mechanical design engineer and along with that he is actually going to generate pcb design Inge uh, engineer is actually going to generate another file which is actually called as dxf file and this particular file actually gives the different information about the dimension of pcb and uh, the different stuffs which are present on the pcb so these two files which is dxf file and step file uh, these two files are actually provided by pcb design engineer to the enclosure or the mechanical design engineer and based on these files the mechanical design engineer is actually going to create the enclosure of the pcb now the question comes why this pcb design engineer has to share all these files to the mechanical design engineer see ultimately we have to fix the pcb inside the enclosure okay so if there is a problem you know regarding the fitting of the pcb then we will have to design you know the enclosure once again so we provide these two files to the mechanical design engineer and in these two files there will be different information regarding you know the different components which are present on the pcb and based on this information mechanical design engineer is actually going to design the enclosure and accordingly once the enclosure is designed then we will be able to fix the pcb inside the enclosure okay for example you know uh as we discussed in pcb there will be connectors okay so we generally connect wires to the connectors from the external side or from external to the enclosure right so there will be some cutouts uh in the enclosure 
and from those cutouts you know the connectors will be visible okay so if we do not provide the exact information or exact position about the connectors uh, to the enclosure design engineer then there will be you know the mismatch of the position okay and because of that we won't be able to fix the pcb inside the enclosure okay so in this case pcb design engineer is actually independent to take the decision and he is going to decide where the different connectors will be placed on the pcb and he is going to generate these two files the first one is step file and dxf file and these two files will be shared with the mechanical design engineer okay so i hope that the first case is now clear to you then the second case is pcb shape is designed based on shape of enclosure so in this case you know the enclosure will be uh, readily available or uh, it will be already there and based on the shape of enclosure we ha we have to design the pcb okay so in this case what generally happens the mechanical design engineer he is going to share this file which is called as dxf file and based on the information which is given in the dxf file uh, the pcb design engineer has to you know create the pcb okay so for example if there is an enclosure and in that particular enclosure there is already uh, you know the position of the connectors are fixed okay so that information will be there in this dxf file and then once uh, this dxf file is shared with the pcb design engineer then he is going to open that file in the uh, uh, in his software and based on the file location or based on the connector position he is actually going to place the different components or connector on the pcb okay so i hope that it's now clear what's basically the need of dxf file okay so now let's go ahead so now let's try to understand what is dxf file and its purpose so dxf actually stands for data exchange format or it is also called as design exchange format then it is basically a cad data file format so this dxf file is actually a cad data file format that enables exchange of data between two softwares now cad actually stands for computer aided design so there will be multiple tools you know uh, mechanical design engineer is actually going to use some different tool uh, to design the enclosure then as a pcb design engineer we are actually going to use some different tool in our case it's eagle right so this dxf file is basically a cad data file format that enables exchange of data between two software so for example if the mechanical uh, mechanical design engineer has to share the position of different cutouts which are present uh, in the enclosure or the position of different mounting holes which are present in the enclosure then how he is going to share that information so there there should be something common between the two different softwares because mechanical design engineer is actually going to use some different software and as a pcb design engineer we are going to use some different software so there should be some common file between the two softwares so that we can interchange the information okay and that file is actually called as dxf file okay so whenever we have to share the information with the mechanical design engineer uh, we, we are going to actually provide this particular file to him and whenever we have to take the information about uh, the enclosure from the mechanical design engineer he is going to send us this particular file okay so i hope that this is clear now so now let's try to understand the usage of dxf file in pcb design okay so this is how basically the dxf file look like okay and i'm going to explain the usage of dxf file with respect to this particular image and this is basically the same dxf file that we are going to use in our design and using uh, using this particular dxf file we are actually going to design our layout okay so now let's see the first point so the first point is board shape or outline so dxf file actually tells us what will be the shape of the board or what will be the outline of the board so in this image you can see uh, the border or the outline of this particular board is actually uh, clearly visible in this particular image okay so dxf file tells us what will be the shape of the board what will be the outline of the board okay whether it will be rectangular whether it will be square whether it will be circular so all that information will be actually present in the dxf file so that's basically the first point uh, board shape or outline then the second point is board dimension now in this particular dxf file you will observe that the dimension is not present anywhere the reason is i have actually exported this dxf file using the eagle software i told you that 
uh, every time mechanical design engineer is going to share the DXF file. But in our case, uh, we don't have the mechanical design engineer. So I have exported this DXF file uh, by myself after creating the layout. Okay. And we are going to use this DXF file as a reference while creating the layout. Okay. As we don't have the mechanical design engineer who will share uh, the DXF file of, of the enclosure. That's the reason I, I exported the DXF file by myself. And again, we are going to use this DXF file to create the layout. Okay. That's the reason uh, again, the dimensions are actually not present here, but generally uh, most of the time when mechanical design engineer will share the DXF file with you, the dimension, the length of the board, what will be the width of the board. Then again, there are mounting holes on the PCB. So what will be the diameter or the radius of the mounting hole that will be given. Then what's the dimension between uh, this component and this, uh, this component that will be given. Then what will be the dimension of this uh, or the position of this particular LED from the edge uh, like this, like X, X coordinate and Y coordinate of this particular LED uh, will be given. So likewise, all the dimensions related to different stuffs, length, width, uh, all those stuffs will be actually given in the DXF file. So the second point was the board dimension. We get the board dimension from the DXF file. Then the next point is exact mounting hole position. So as I told you from DXF file, we are going to get the exact mounting hole position because as we are going to place the PCB in the enclosure, so the mounting holes should not be mismatched. Okay. Because ultimately we have to tight this particular PCB or we have to, you know, uh, screw the PCB on the enclosure. Okay. So that the PCB will not move from its position. So again, the mounting hole position will be there and what will be the radius of the mounting hole that will be given so that we can provide that, uh, you know, a hole of that particular radius on the PCB. So that was basically the third point, exact mounting hole position. Then the fourth point is exact connector position. So again, if you see, this is basically the connector one, this is the connector two. So uh, again, in this DXF file, the position or the dimension of connector is not given, but uh, when the mechanical design engineer will share the DXF file with you. He is going to give all the dimensions re related to, as I told, the different components which are present on the PCB. Okay. Then the next point is distance between the elements. So, uh, as I already told you, there will be different elements on the PCB. So this is basically the first element, second element, third element. So likewise, there will be different elements on the PCB and mechanical design engineer is actually going to give you the distance between the different elements or there, there will be, you know, the reference mark for each element like plus sign will be there. Okay. On each an element, which actually represents the center uh, point for that particular element or that particular cutout on the enclosure. And we have to use that center point and we have to use the, uh, the DXF file in the Eagle software. And we can actually use a dimension tool in the Eagle software. And from that dimension tool, we will get to know what's basically the position of the center from, uh, center point from the edge of the PCB. Okay. From this uh, vertical edge and from this horizontal edge. Okay. And once you get the X and Y coordinate of the, of the element, then you can place that particular component properly on the PCB. Okay. So these are basically the different information that we are going to get from the DXF file. Okay. And I hope that this is clear now. Now let's go ahead. So now let's try to compare the DXF file that we are going to use in order to create the layout. So you can see here in this DXF file, the position of mounting holes are given. So there are actually four mounting holes uh, in this DXF file. So this is, this was basically the position for mounting hole where I have created hole on the PCB. So there are actually four mounting holes on the PCB and these are actually called as standoffs uh, about which I'm going to talk uh, in upcoming videos. Uh, I have actually inserted the standoffs uh, in these mounting holes. And generally when we will put this PCB in the enclosure, there will be screws here. Okay. And we will tight those screws so that PCB will not move in the enclosure. Then again, uh, this is basically uh, the position for this uh, DC female jack, uh, which is given in this DXF file. Then again, the position for the connector. Uh, this is green connector, which is here. You can see position for both the green connectors are given. Then the position for this particular, you know, uh, debug slash programming header is there. Uh, position for this preset is there position for this switch is there. So likewise, all the information will be given uh, in the DXF file. And now I will tell you why the information for these stuffs will be given in the DXF file. Because when 
the enclosure will be designed by the mechanical design engineer there will be actually cutouts in the enclosure so as we are going to plug or power this uh, hardware from externally so we are going to insert the you know dc male jack in this dc female jack uh, externally so there will be hole in the uh, enclosure okay from from where we can actually insert the dc male jack in the enclosure in order to power our system that's the reason he is going to tell us the information for this dc female jack uh, again uh, these are the connectors and here we are actually going to connect the motors uh, which will be which will be you know visible from the outside and there will be cutouts for these connector that's the reason the the position for these connectors uh, are actually very crucial on the dxf file okay and these uh, the information related to position of the these connectors should be present on the dxf file which uh, you can see on this dxf file is there then the next one is debug slash programming header so again uh, so that we can program the hardware externally or from outside the enclosure there will be you know some uh, some kind of cutout in the enclosure and by inserting the programmer or by connecting the wires in in this particular area we will be able to program the hardware that's the reason uh, the mechanical design engineer has provided this particular position and we have to put or place this header or a debug connector at this uh, position only okay then again if you see here the position for the preset is given okay so again there is a reason why the preset position is given because uh, there must be an application where we want to control the different parameters of the system by control by controlling the position of this particular knob from external to the enclosure okay so again there will be some small cutout for the uh, preset or there will be small hole uh, for this particular knob so that we can control or rotate this particular knob uh, from outside the enclosure okay so that's the reason he has given the position for this dxf file in the enclosure okay then again so that we can press the switch uh, from outside the enclosure again the the position for these switches are given so again if you see the position for the rgb led is given then the position for the seven segment display is given so there is actually purpose behind that why uh, the position of all these components are given and why the position for rest of the components are not given okay so as i told you this uh, dc we are going to insert the male jack from external uh, to the enclosure so that we can power the system so we should know the position of dc female jack okay where we have to place otherwise there will be mismatch between the cutout and the actual dc female jack which is present on the pcb okay and in order to avoid that kind of situation uh, the mechanical design engineer is going to give us this information okay and again this rgb led will be maybe it will be visible from external to the enclosure and again the seven segment display will be visible from external to the uh, from external to the enclosure that is the reason mechanical design engineer has given the position for all this uh, all these components okay and for rest of the components their position is actually not given so we can place rest of the components as per our convenience okay so that's basically the meaning so now let me conclude all this information with the last statement so whenever we design the pcb we actually need the position of few components for example like this dc female jack connectors because these components are actually placed uh, you know near the cutout okay and we we need the position for these components so that we can place these components at the exact position on the pcb and when we will insert the pcb in the enclosure there will be no mismatch between you know all the components whose information is actually shared by mechanical design engineer okay so that's basically the purpose of dxf file and i hope that it's clear now now let me show you how to import and export the dxf file in the eagle software after that in order to import the dxf file again we have to go to files then import and then dxf file and later you have to navigate to the location where uh, you have to, uh, where the dxf file is stored so let's consider that this is basically the dxf file uh, which is shared by mechanical design engineer so we have to select this one and after that we have to click on open now here we have to select the target layer so you have to select the layer number 50 which is actually dedicated for uh, which is actually dedicated for the dxf file okay so once you select the dxf files layer then here you have to select the dimension so again mechanical design engineer you have to ask mecha mechanical design engineer whether uh, the dimensions are in you know uh, imperial uh, which is uh, inches or whether they are in millimeter okay 
So this information will be provided by the mechanical design engineer. Now in our case, it's going to be in millimeter. So we have to select this one and later we have to click on OK. And then Eagle is actually going to run a script and we have to click on run. And then Eagle is actually going to start the process to import the DXF file. Now the DXF file will not be visible on this particular layout. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I will go to the view layer setting and I will hide all the layers. Okay. And later I will click on, uh, I will select or I will enable only DXF layer. So let me enable the DXF layer and you can see this is how basically DXF file look like. All right. So that was all about the process to import and export the DXF file. And I hope that every single thing that we discussed in this particular video is now crystal clear to you. And if anyone asks you what's basically the DXF file and what's its purpose, then I hope that now you will be able to answer the question confidently. Okay. All right. So that's what I wanted to tell in this video. And now I will see you in next video, which is about component placement planning. Okay. So I will see you in the next video now.